like a bow. All right, guys. So talk to dating coach. Um, <laughs> and today, sorry, I was killing the flies, okay? I wasn't hitting you guys. Um, today we're going to be talking about, actually, I was talking to one of my clients the, uh, a few weeks ago. And, um, and she was wondering whether a guy liked her or not. Um, and it, by the way, if you ever need one-on-one coaching, go to mindfulattraction.org in the description down below. And she was asking me, how do I know if a guy likes me? Because she was talking to a guy for a few weeks, no, for a few months already. Um, they've, been they've been together for, yeah, for about two or three months. And she's unsure about if he likes her. They're friends with benefits. Um, she, I'm not gonna lie, according to her, she was feeling desperate, which I, don't worry about it, man. We all feel desperate sometimes. Um, and so what to do? She was expecting me to say to pull away. She was expecting me to teach her some toxic strategies, right? But every, every relationship and every individual is dynamic. So this is what I told her. Um, and by the way, if you're in LA, Miami, Chicago, and Dallas, Texas, I'm going to your city, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. Um, this fall, I'm having a tour. Um, it's, oh, and in New York City next month, um, I'm having a tour. So um, purchase the seminar tickets in the description down below to see um, so that you can book your spot because I'm going to your city. Father Alex is going to your city, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. Um, and I'm having a seminar in New York City next, next month, but the first day is gonna be free. It's gonna be a meet and greet for one hour, free. Anybody could come for the freeloaders. And then the next day we're having a, a, a seminar. Um, so if you wanna sign up for the free seminar, for the free tour in your New York City, go to the link below and you'll see where it says free tour, okay? Do that, won't close the channel, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. All right, so, um, so let's begin this. So let me tell you what it is. I told her to open up. I told her, since, since you don't know if he likes you or not, one of the best ways to find out if, if you're talking to a guy and, and, you, and you have a feeling that things are very serious and you, and, you, and you don't know whether or not the guy likes you, just open up. Like literally open up. I, like I swear to God, you wanna know why? Because fi you'll find out if he likes you. You'll find out because he'll tell you how he feels about you. Now, and the reason why I say two or three months, in fact, let's go with three or four months. And I believe, I, I have a bad memory, I believe she was with him for like six months, I think. But the reason why is this, is that two things will happen. He will either open up as well, and you'll know how he feels, or he'll pull away. You'll notice it'll get awkward, you'll notice he'll start looking at his clock, you'll notice all of a sudden, he's, he, all of a sudden he's gonna be there for his kids, and he gotta go, right? All of a sudden Tyrone gotta, all of a sudden Tyrone's back from the store, right? <laughs> That's racist! Get him! <laughs> you can't get me, Melissa. I want camera. <laughs> Melissa is the imaginary Karen that I have in my mind, like the imaginary white girl. So, um, and the reason why is this is that after four, after after three or four months, if the guy doesn't like you, if the guy doesn't have any emotions towards you, he he's never gonna have one. After three or four months, he's never gonna have one. You get what I'm trying to say? Like usually after that point, if he doesn't have it, he's not gonna have it. He's already seen your personality in many different areas. He already had time to connect with you. And if you haven't connected with the, with the guy, you're just never gonna connect with him. And it's that simple. And the reason why a lot, some people might be scared of doing this is because they're scared of reality. They're scared of what might actually happen. He might not be open to your, to, 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 he might not be open to you. He might not respond the way you want him to respond. And so you're afraid of that. In other words, you're afraid to, to meet reality. If you're not able to meet reality eyeball to eyeball, you're always gonna be working under the, under the wrong assumptions. You're never gonna get the right, you're never gonna implement the right strategies because you don't know the real issue. You don't know the real problem. And so this girl would have been with him for a few years or maybe a few months or a few years if she is that hard-headed and she would have lost and wasted her time. That's not what we want. Even though it's painful to find out he doesn't like you, what's the purpose? If you just want to bang home, if you just want to bang Tyrone, it's fine. Don't open up. But if you feel like you want something more from him, then it's better to open up to find out now before you fall even more in love with him. 
at that at this point, it's all about your sanity. It's all about you making sure that your day is not ruined because you don't know whether or not he likes you. Once you get a once you get a a um once you get a, a straight answer from the guy by be, by opening up, then you'll be able to either stay with him because he opened up or move on emotionally. But the point is, is that the more you're uncertain you are with this guy, the more you'll like him. And also the more time you're wasting on the wrong guys. And all of a sudden you're seeing a whole bunch of nice guys, all the Bobs, all the fucking Malcolms and shit passing you by. Why? Because you're stuck on Tyrone, the personal training, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy, to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15, 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle, he's a, he's a bad uncle, get him. Shut up, Melissa, you should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So, for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's it's your bodyguard. Without this, your whatever feminine energy you create will be destroyed by the outside because your, your, fem, your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're gonna be talking about how to um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man, <laughs> you know. It, you know. Now the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy, right? This one would this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self awareness, healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's it's it, it, this will supercharge like like Kyle Ken, your masculine energy. After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace and even the dress code. They, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. And how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um, nine at ninety nine dollars, um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really, most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you can pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of, of March. One of the two people, because I have a ten-day retreat to do, and I want to, I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think the the ideas are gonna be so much better. All right, man. I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Well, I'm closing the channel.